No. I'm sorry, I'm no, sorry. No, it's a joke, right? I mean, it's a sick and twisted joke. Tell me it is. Look, I never meant for things to get this far, and, I, and the last thing I wanted to do was hurt you and the kids. Well, then what were you thinking? I mean, you came after me. You, you came to give me my wallet back. Yeah, because I felt bad when I found out who you were. I mean, wouldn't you? And I tried to back off. Well, then why didn't you try harder? I mean, you were friends with my mum. You got to know my kids. What was all that about? What's wrong, Dad? Should let you tell him. Should make you tell him. No, David, there's no need for that. Look, it's okay. No, don't like take you... another step. It's fine, kids, all right? Just stay where you are. I'll be over in a minute. Thank you. Well, I don't want your thanks, all right? You just say what you got to say and you can do one. Look, I wanted to tell you, but it was just so hard. Well, none of this had to be hard, did it? Because none of this had to happen. Look, you know I tried to keep my distance. You make it sound like you had no option. You get on a bus, you don't look back, end off. But I didn't want to cause you any more upset. What, because now I've never felt happier? I'm so sorry. Well, that's no good to me, is it? It was bad enough the day you spewed that mongrel out into the world, but then worming your way into our life, knowing what he had done, that I can't forgive. I don't expect you to! OK, you're right. I should never have stayed, and I can't pretend I didn't have chances to go. Well, then why didn't you? Because you know why! At first, I thought it was pity. I told myself I was trying to make up for what Clayton did. I told myself all sorts, but it changed nothing. I'd fallen for you. And I know you feel... I know you felt the same way. Didn't you? <laughs> 